Welcome to Episode 1, The Upanishads, translated by Stephen Mitchell and read by Ram Das. You're listening to the Sacred Poetry Podcast, brought to you by Whole Self Healing Center. Thank you for tuning in. We're celebrating National Poetry Month each day this April, featuring audiobook selections from the 1989 Anthology of Sacred Poetry, edited by Stephen Mitchell, The Enlightened Heart. Throughout the month, you'll be treated to ecstatic poetry from around the world, across various cultures and religions, spanning 25 centuries of spiritual thought. Today is April 1st, 2022, and the anthology begins, and so do we, in the 8th to 5th century BCE, with the Upanishads, which, along with the Bhagavad Gita, are the central texts of the Hindu religion. From the Upanishads, read by Ram Das. The Golden God the self, the immortal swan, leaves the small nest of the body, goes where he wants. He moves through the realm of dreams, makes numberless forms, delights in sex, eats, drinks, laughs with his friends, frightens himself with scenes of heart-chilling terror. But he is not attached to anything that he sees. And after he has wandered in the realms of dream and awakeness, has tasted pleasures and experienced good and evil, he returns to the blissful state from which he began. As a fish swims forward to one riverbank, then the other, self alternates between awakeness and dreaming. As an eagle, weary from long flight, folds its wings, gliding down to its nest, self hurries to the realm of dreamless sleep, free of desires, fear, pain. As a man in sexual union with his beloved is unaware of anything outside or inside, So a man in union with self knows nothing, wants nothing, has found his heart's fulfillment and is free of sorrow. Father disappears, mother disappears, gods and scriptures disappear, thief disappears, murderer, rich man, Beggar disappear, world disappears, good and evil disappear. He has passed beyond sorrow. Two birds, one of them mortal, the other immortal, live in the same tree. The first one pecks at the fruit, sweet or bitter. The second, looks on without eating. Thus the personal self pecks at the fruit of this world, bewildered by suffering, always hungry for more. But when he meets the true self, the resplendent God, the source of creation, all his cravings are stilled. Perceiving self in all creatures, he forgets himself in the service of all. Good and evil both vanish. Delighting in self, playing like a child with self, he does whatever is called for, whatever the result. Self is everywhere shining forth from all beings, vaster than the vast, subtler than the most subtle, unreachable, yet nearer than breath and heartbeat. I cannot see it, 
ear cannot hear it nor tongue utter it. Only in deep absorption can the mind, grown pure and silent, merge with the formless truth. He who finds it is free. He has found himself. He has solved the great riddle. His heart forever is at peace. Whole, he enters the whole. His personal self returns to its radiant, intimate, deathless source. As rivers lose name and form when they disappear into the sea, the sage leaves behind all traces when he disappears into the light. Perceiving the truth, he becomes the truth. He passes beyond all suffering, beyond death. All the knots of his heart are loosed. You're listening to the Sacred Poetry Podcast, brought to you by Whole Self Healing Center. Thank you for tuning in.